All right, Alex, man, thanks for coming along for a ride. No Showing worries us at all, mate. A little bit of your hometown here, yeah. down in uh, the Shoalhaven. Uh, take us to a few of your favourite spots and see where we get to. Let's do it. Beautiful. Let's go. Trip down memory lane. We're going to get this aircon going. Oh, let's oh do sorry, it. bro. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Taking your arms out. What do you reckon, aircon? That's 100%. Or did we want to do no, windows go. down, let's arms go, out? Aircon. been in the Illawarra my whole life uh, you know it's just that's it's home you know what I mean and then I'm doing so much right now like you know the, the you know the sport from the you know the whole Illawarra has been great you know and winning a title for, for not just me but you know it's bigger than that for the Illawarra community and all that sort of stuff it's gonna be massive you know what I mean like there's a lot of obviously a lot of history here the gorillas really gorillas you know what I mean even my school like, tell us about the people down here uh, what are they like what do they like to do and and what's it mean to be a person from the Illawarra? Yeah, just hard workers, I guess. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like it's a working sort of town. What would you call that? You got that's called something? Workman like town? Or workman, yeah. workman like town. We'll go with that. This is my home. I love it here. I wouldn't know. I'd never leave. I'd never leave. So even uh, my next house, I want to buy somewhere around here. Got a fly on me. Fly all over me, eh? To get him out of the car when we I stop. Know. This fly, look, can you see that fly? I'm going to go gonna... smack it. Here's the Rilla Gorillas. Here we are. Here we are. This is where the magic used to happen, eh? Yeah, I wonder if it, the gate's open. This is just a local club football. Let's jump Obviously, out. I played uh, rep sides and yep. stuff like that. I could find a way in. There used to be ways in around the side. side game. <laughs> this is proper suburban Australian sport, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was unreal. You know, we always had a you know, good banter always in the footy fields yeah. and then footy teams and stuff like that. I try and get out and watch the games as much as I can, but it's it's obviously, it gets hard, obviously I'm busy and all that with the training schedule and that. Mad Mondays, you always get to remember them. <laughs> you always get to remember them Mad Mondays. But I mean, we won't get into that. But I mean, nah, it's just good, man. So obviously that camaraderie. Probably didn't get the ball as much as I'd like near the try line. <laughs> do you remember the Warilla Gorillas team song? Uh, oh, yes, I do. You want me to sing it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, shit, do I sing it loud or? All right. Daytime or night time is always the right time. So what the gorillas? The best of them all. We win some, we lose some, we give some, we take some. So what the gorillas? The best of them all. There it is. Neutral. That ain't gonna work. All right, let's go past Lake Illawarra High School. Oh wow, here we go. It's gonna Lake be some yarns out of this joint. Just here. It's a jail. Looks like a jail, eh? <laughs> I'm a lot sure. of high schools do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they reckon that it was actually built like a guy that built it done a lot of jails. Yeah, right. Tell us about your school days here. Then, school man. days, yeah, man, bloody. Yeah, just a regular bloke, I yeah. guess. Troublemaker. Oh, man, Good a, student. That's a tricky one. I don't know. I think I was all right. Yeah. Still got a few mates from here. Yeah, you got um. Yeah, we do. Yeah, so I got a. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, obviously, schoolmates. You're yep. always gonna have your schoolmates, footy mates. It's weird. Like I'm, like I went back there, like to do things, like to help out, like yeah, a bit of motivational yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, stuff like that. And uh, just going back there, obviously, when you're so young, like it, things just look a, a lot different. Look, used to look so much bigger. Yeah. That's the corner I was telling you about where I had a little biff there. What happened? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. It's funny because uh, yeah, because the guy that uh, he's actually come to the gym not longer. The guy that <laughs> <laughs> we haven't actually talked about it though. We just like, pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. But um, I think uh, yeah, they were at a party and then they supposedly said a couple of things about about my brother. So I questioned yeah. him about it. Yeah. He was a he was a few years older than yeah. me, a lot bigger than me. But um, and he's like, no, I didn't say nothing. Like, and then all right, sweet, nothing. And then I went and sat down and he starts walking across with a couple of his mates, and he looks at me and he's like. Like sort of the, what the, you know if you're looking at it, I'm like what the hell like where'd this come from and I just seen red I was gonna let it go but then one of my mates is in the, my, my ear going I can't believe you just took that I can't believe you just took that man <laughs> nothing like young. a bit of an egg on from yeah, one of your mates yeah yeah, yeah. Me, man, but obviously I'm not really like that but um I just had enough and I just stormed up from like literally just there red like went to the corner I was right and he's like pushed his mates and he's like what and then I just went nuts yeah there wasn't a land a quick couple yeah. And then a bit of ground a pound in that one. I, <laughs> I went back, got out, yeah. and they're like, oh, get out of here, like quick, like before the teachers come. So I went, thought I got away with it, but I mean. Did you get a little involuntary uh, holiday from school for that? I or? did, yeah, a couple of days. <laughs> a few days. 
Yeah, yeah. I think uh, he had stitches on the outside of his tooth went through his lip. Oh, wow. So it was a, you didn't miss him? I didn't miss. Sorry, mate. Sorry, all the, mate. All in the past now. Well, that's it. Like, I actually trained with him. Like, he's a cool dude. Like, yeah. But again, we just have a... Like, I don't know if he just... Uh, maybe he doesn't remember me. Yeah. I do, but I just don't... We did both just don't bring it <laughs> We're up. We're not bringing it up. He yeah, comes yeah. to the gym, yeah, he's like, we get along good now, but like, we haven't talked about it. Oh, let's get past my old place. Beautiful. My yeah. old house. Again, like I said, when you're young, everything seems so much bigger, eh? Yeah. So I remember we used to go in these little bushes just here along the lake. What is it? <laughs> it's not much there. Nah. But like, it goes along, but like, I used to think, like, we're in a rainforest, yeah. mate. That's how big it looked. We used to come down here and just... Little hall again, hang out, yeah, get up to no good, yeah. And I bet back then, mate, you weren't dreaming of going to Vegas to nah, fight for the world well, title. Nah, nah, this was this was pretty young, so I don't think, uh, oh, I think you know what, I probably was still watching UFC, yeah. You know, when you had to buy them on tape and all that, like you, you wouldn't have it on, on TV, yep. you'd have to go to YouTube, blockbuster. wasn't a thing yet, yeah, you go on Blockbuster, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, Blockbuster. So even the streets just changed, yeah. This is my street. This is where I grew up, a lot of uh, my youth. Mount Warrigal. Let's see the house. This is our house, it's, it's been renovated, so it didn't look like this. How's that, where concrete is, right? Yeah. That driveway's done now. We lived in it, well, concrete is, we lived in it for 10, 15 years or something. We never done no, that driveway, never did it was dirt. <laughs> and then we knew the guy that lived in the house, so we done the driveway for him. <laughs> How's that? I remember my sister and that owned that. Uh, after, we, yeah, like we had neighbours there. And, mate, it's a blowout. Yeah, man. What about, um, tell us about those concreting days. You miss those? Nah. Nah. Not, not one really, bit? You know what I mean? Not really. Like, I don't mind hard work I mean, yeah. stuff like It's nothing, but I mean, you know, I can't complain with what it. Obviously, training is very hard. Yeah. I'm sure, like, you know, MMA, yeah, I'm sure, like, there'll be people that do concrete would be like, I would way rather do concrete than, than MMA. Yeah. Obviously, MMA, like, 80% of the time, it's hard, yeah. hard work. And, yeah. But I mean, concrete and again, hard work. Not easy and, either. No, yeah. it's not. It's just funny, like going through here, like you just remember things. Trip down memory lane. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, this is uh, Mackenzie Avenue Shops. Got a lot of meat pies back yeah, in my yeah, rugby days. Okay. You know, meat pies, fish and chips. Beautiful. You know Chicken what, salt, a, oh, look at me. I'm gonna give this are. bloke a plug. I think they're still there. There's a pizza joint here. Yep. So there's a pizzeria oh, yeah, there. A lager pizzeria. Yeah, it's actually really good. We'll give him that. A little shout out. Yeah. No charge. Free feed next time, eh? <laughs> That's uh, where the fight's going to be. How wild will it get in here at the mate, Central Hotel? Mate, I could show you his videos. Maybe yeah. I can stop and then show you the video. Because this is the, the pub, so the whole pub gets absolutely packed. Yeah. But they've got a function room at the back here. Like it's big and that just, they just feel like they got the big screen in there. Yep. Yeah, maybe I can pull up. Yep, yep, Can't right. be on my phone while I'm no, driving, no, not on camera. Not. <laughs> so this is where the, the crowds go absolutely nuts. This is what it's going to be like. Just completely full. They just got rows of seats like that, yeah. and then all up the back, and then all downstairs and everything. How does that make you feel? Because not right. ev not everyone on the planet gets to have something in their life like that. Exactly, it feels, it, it's it's mate. I love it. I honestly, absolutely love it. It's a you get like a, you get goosebumps like you know when, when that happens. Especially once it's just happened, people sending me videos straight away. It's just oh, it's unbelievable. And even uh, even uh, I was with. I remember I uh, seen that someone sent me like one of these. And I showed the boys, like, and even there, like, you know, my teammates and all my cornermen, they're going, man, how good does that show me again? Like, you know, they love it. Like, it's, you know, obviously, there's a lot happening, you know what I mean? It's bloody unbelievable. How's fatherhood changed you? Fatherhood changed me. Yeah, I've always been a pretty responsible uh, type of guy. Yeah. And, like, you know, I've never, again, footy days, you're going to have a bit of fun <laughs> and stuff like that. But and that one incident in the, uh, in the high school. Yeah, look, don't get me wrong. Like, right, being young and obviously, I was never the one looking for trouble, but it did find me yeah. a fair bit. Oh, I ain't going to lie. With now having kids and, and, and stuff like that, obviously, you know, that's, that's what I do everything for them. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that, that's my life. They're my life. So it means, it means everything for me, like, especially. Uh, it's perfect for my fight game because nothing motivates me more than them. Yeah, sure. So I'm, uh, you know, when I'm out there, when I'm dying, like at training, absolutely busted ass. I'm thinking like you need to win for these kids, like you know, you got to win. You can't lose. You know, you, I ref as I always say, I refuse to lose. Can't afford that. That's money taken away from my family. That's you know, that's more time taken away. 
for my family to get that money, you know what I mean? I'm like, go make that cheese, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that was my mate. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I said hello. Went to catch up with him this week, actually. Where are we rolling down this to? This is uh, Addison Avenue, Shell Harbour. So this is, you know, I live in, uh, I'll show you, Rilla Gorillas, Shell Harbour Sharks, rivalry. Okay. So a lot of my Rilla, Local derby. me taking you through here might get me uh, in trouble <laughs> with the Rilla boys. No. <laughs> There's a pub just back there, just behind us. Yeah. That I, I, man, now I'm looking like a little rebel. I got kicked out of that place too. Was there a bit of mouth though, perhaps? No, 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 no mouth. No, no mouth. No <laughs> mouth. What's going on here? Yeah, no worries. I'll wait. Obviously, Game of Thrones has always been my thing, right? That's uh, obviously the season. It's done. It's done. But not just that. Not only it's done. Like, man, it's hard to talk about. But I was pretty disappointed in that last season. Wasn't it flat? the finish mate like come oh on man I've, I grew up my whole life bloody watching this thing right <laughs> and the thing is the, the detail to the storyline went so deep and then all of a sudden right at the end they're just like ah yeah. so I'm disappointed so now I don't know do I walk out to it still don't just turn Daenerys into a murder overnight yeah. just give me a good storyline for seven seasons and just f*** it up in the last season yeah. no worries yeah. <laughs> Anyway, gotta let it go, eh? Yeah. Gotta let it go. I thought You're I'd have that. Oh no, it's ended. Yeah. Where well, I didn't even think like that. I was yeah. just like, what was that? What's going on? Oh mate, that big bottle of water starting to catch up to me. <laughs> we better get you home, yeah. I think I better get home, boys. I think that's where we call it a day. Well, mate, it's been an absolute joy it's coming I've... down today. Thanks for having us. And um, I think certainly the whole of Australia is pulling for you. We can't wait to see you get over there, get the business done and, and bring the belt home. No worries, man. It was good fun, good chat. And again, man, I'm bringing that belt home. Christmas present for everyone in Australia and my family and all my supporters. Can't wait. Have fun ed editing all my <laughs> bullshit.